exhaust temperatures. Animatronics is the construction of robotic puppets that move in a lifelike way. You often see animatronic characters in science fiction movies as well as theme parks and carnivals. Please be advised that this segment contains images which may not be suitable for younger viewers. When it comes to the horror genre, the more gruesome the animatronic character, the better. Meet Crazy Kristen. She starts out as a hunk of clay. Her creator sculpts her form on a vertical table. Once he finishes her shape, he switches to finer tools to craft her gory features. He uses water and a sponge to give her skin a realistic texture. Once the clay has hardened, they lay Crazy Kristen on her back and drown her in gypsum plaster. In an hour or so, the plaster sets and they remove the sculpture, creating a mold from which they'll produce multiple Crazy Kristens. The mold is quite heavy, so for easier handling, they sever the body in two. Then they fill each mold cavity with liquid latex rubber. A three millimeter skin soon hardens against the mold cavity wall. They suction out the remaining liquid latex. Meanwhile, they weld together a steel skeleton, a grate for her rib cage, a strip for her spine, chains for her arm bones, ball bearings for her joints, and steel reinforced rubber for her neck. So far, Crazy Kristen has skin and bones. Now she needs flesh. They fill each mold cavity with expanding polyurethane foam. To control the expansion, they cover the top with a plastic sheet and guide the foam with their hands. The lower body doesn't require an inner support structure because it's immobile just steel chains in the legs to hold them in place. Once the foam hardens, it's safe to extract Crazy Kristen's body from the molds. They trim off excess latex along the perimeter. Then sit her upper body on a large swiveling ball bearing mounted on a vertical metal base. They insert a pair of rods through holes in the base. Each rod is bolted to a plate sitting on those ball bearing joints in her skeleton. The other end gets welded to the base. These cylinders are pneumatic, meaning air pressure opens and closes them, making Crazy Kristen thrash about. It's all controlled by this digital device they mount on a guitar amplifier. It sends electric pulses that control the pneumatic cylinders. An actress records the accompanying shrieks and moans. They transfer the soundtrack to the digital control box. The box triggers the sound effects along with the movement. It's time to apply Crazy Kristen's makeup. For her skin colors, they use a half-half mixture of house paint and liquid latex rubber. For her eyeballs, they use off-white opaque ink. Then they airbrush the iris and paint in the pupil with the stick end of a small brush. A few veins with a red pen, airbrushed ink on her mouth guard, and finally clear epoxy over her eyeballs to make them glassy. They top her off with a wig, mount her lower body to the base, 
Then complete her look with a straight jacket. Because Crazy Kristen's home is the insane asylum. <laughs>